it won't go it'll just slowly move across. Well, maybe not slowly, but it'll move across the level in a more consistent manner. A little slower, a little better. All right, so we're in the Qubit game again because it's the easiest 3D game to kind of show off some of this cool stuff. And what I want to happen is I want this first platform to actually move across the level and go back and forth. So it's a moving obstacle to avoid. And there are like 700 different ways to do this in Unity, but the easiest way is just to create an animation. But because we're creating an animation, you will have to create a new animation for every single obstacle that you want to move because the X and Y coordinates won't be the same for every object. Um, if you wanted it to be the same for every object, you'd create empty game objects that were the start and end point, and you could lerp between them or move between them or add a force back and forth when they collided. Like I said, there's like 700 ways, but we're gonna do the animation way today because I have a soft spot for animation lately. All, I mean, you guys know that. I've been doing animation like the last like two weeks. <laughs> so um, I have my object selected here. I'm gonna choose the animation panel. I'm gonna create a new animation and I'm gonna call this one um, move across. Go ahead and save that to my assets and then I'm going to start recording. And then I'm gonna just say, so the starting point is here. Let's go ahead and make it take uh, let's do one second. So to get the timeline there that you saw that kind of like shrunk out so we could see more and more time, I just zoomed out on the scroll scroll wheel. So that changes the frame. Okay, so let's go ahead and move it to the one second mark and then I can change the position to the other side of the platform. And now I have a keyframe that goes from one to the next. If I go ahead and stop that recording and hit play, we can see it moves across the screen. Now, it moves across the screen, but then restarts and goes back to the other side. We want it to move to the other side, not teleport to the other side. So let's go ahead and stop the playback. I'm gonna move my playhead to that keyframe. I'm gonna go ahead and hit record again, and then I'm going to move it. Uh-uh-uh-uh, we can be fancier than that. Let's go ahead and stop the record. We're gonna take the, this set of keyframes and we're gonna copy them. I'm gonna do Command C and then go to two seconds, Command V. Yeah, okay. So I just highlighted the first set of keyframes, Command C or Control C to copy them, and then paste them here. So now when I play back the animation, it bounces because it gets to that second set of keyframes and it's at the beginning position and then it starts the animation over. All right, now, well, let's play our game and see if that happens. So I'm gonna go into my player here and I'm going to not allow it to move just so that we can don't get past it before it starts moving. Let's hit play, let's see what happens. And there we go. We've got something that goes back and forth and moves across the platforms. And you can do way more stuff with the animation here. You can make it rotate. You can make it pause on one side before it goes back to the next. You could also slow down this animation. So in order to slow down that animation, what I can do is I can actually open up the animator itself that stores the path in which the animation happens, click on the move across animation, and there's a variable called speed. And we can slow it down to like 0.5, and now it's gonna go half as fast. And now when we play our game, it won't go It'll just slowly move across. Well, maybe not slowly, but it'll move across the level in a more consistent manner. A little slower a little better, but it's up to you guys. Play with that, play with the number of keyframes you put in there, um, play with all that stuff. It's totally up to you, but that's how you do a moving platform. If you make a moving platform, drop it in the comments. I wanna see your game, I wanna play it, I wanna fail at it, and I will record a video, me playing your game and failing at it, and post it to the channel.